It's fair. It's fair. How about you? You gonna stay back here? <laughs> come here, Ruby. Let me hold you. Come here. You gotta do a video for the people. Come here. Here, sit down for a second. I know. I know it's exciting. All right. We'll see how long. How long this will last? <laughs> I'm not sure how long. I'm gonna, Take I'm gonna, one. I'm gonna wrap, wrap around here. So, <laughs> hey guys, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, wanted to put together just a little, uh, uh, kind of a, a random video, uh, answering a couple of questions, uh, throw out a couple of things <laughs> lately with Mr. Man here, and hopefully he will not tear off uh, and make us have to edit this a thousand times to <laughs> get him hold still. Anyway, um, you may notice behind us. You look comfortable, Michael. I'm very comfortable. <laughs> Looks like a pretzel. All my yoga is paying off with him. Uh, behind it is behind like us, twister. a couple people have asked, "Hey, what happened to the blue bat?" Because as you see behind me, that's not blue, that's red. And uh, the blue bed, which was already had the zipper was was broken and uh, in a couple different places and was uh, probably our longest lasting bed that we've had for a while. Well, Mr. Man uh, tore it up a little bit. Uh, the zipper is even more ripped and, and destroyed. But the uh, Piesta Resistance was when he had a good old butt stinking on it that kind of soaked into the uh, material of the cushion, which made it not worthwhile even taking that apart to kind of wash that as well. It is, it is, it was time. Uh, it was time. So we have, uh, we've gotten rid of that one, but, uh, we have not gotten him a new one because obviously he has the new one over here, but, uh, we have used the, the older one, which has a hole on the underside of that one. And that seems to be doing okay. So the, uh, the onslaught of bed destruction uh, continues. <laughs> And uh, you might want to invest in uh, the textile industry because uh, they're, they're going to be in a high high demand to uh, satisfy this guy over the next couple of years. So uh, so that's that. Um, also, uh, had a couple questions about his nails as well because I know when you see him up close, you're seeing every little bit of him. And we're going to get him down here in a little bit to get his nails done. Hang on, baby. Hold still. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Don't struggle. Um, uh, his he uh, we have the vet do his nails because he does not allow us to do it. The one time that we did try to really get it uh, done with him did not end very well. No, it didn't. So, um, so we have, we're leaving it to the professionals, and he, he tends to relax around them. When they put him up on the, on the slippery steel table, he just, just kind of goes limp, and they're able to do, do his, uh, his nails pretty well. But, um, but even when – we do take him down on a regular basis but, uh, uh, to get that done. But even when they're clipped, sometimes people are like, hey, you need his nails done. But he does have a very vascular nail bed, and so that's why we take him down on a regular basis, hopefully to stay on top of that. And uh, even when we get him down there, a lot of times they're not able to take off a lot of, uh, of nail on there. So, But we do stay on top of it, but he does have, have uh, what looks like long nails. But they are being attended to, I promise you. And Ruben, are you sure you want to sit down? It's more comfortable if you sit. Does, it say, does, he, want the, does he want his little bones? Here, how about this? How about that? <laughs> There we go. Oh, no. Oh, oh. No. He's a, he's a skate artist. Anyway. We're still, um, we're still on take one. No, that's right. <laughs> hang, hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. I know you love this. Um, <laughs> the yawning shows you he's, uh, he's got some he's redirected go. response. Uh, let's see. Uh, also, his face redness. That's another thing we get questions about every now and then. Because depending on when we've, we've shot the video, sometimes he's just been outside. He's been playing. When he gets warm, his face gets, uh, gets much pinker. Um, he, there's, there's allergies here in Wilmington uh, right now that he seems he has some seasonal allergies when he gets outside and he rolls around on the grass. We notice, especially around his eyes, gets a little bit puffier as well. So, um, he is taking some generic Zyrtec for that to help out a bit. But one of the things that we're doing to, uh, see if it makes a difference is we're transitioning his food right now. Uh, he's doing the Royal Canaan. Hold still. Royal Canaan. He's, <laughs> he's done really well on that, uh, for, for years now. But with the development a little bit of this, of the redness, uh, we just want to see if maybe a change in food would uh, assist with that a little bit. So we're transitioning over to a grain-free uh, core wellness, uh, which is a well-rated uh, uh, dry food. And we're holding off on his crack patties as well, just so there's not too many uh, variables involved with food. But he loves the new stuff. Uh, we're not fully on it yet, but we're transitioning over and all seems to be going well there. So we'll see if that makes a difference as well. I know when it comes to to food and to, uh, you know, skin issues and things like that with bulldogs, there's a bazillion different thoughts and, and people have had different uh, uh, suggestions on that because uh, uh, these guys are not, you know, the most perfect when it comes to genetics, I guess. But we're working on it. We'll see if that makes a difference, if that helps out. Um, let's see also. 
Question about, uh, could we say again how we started this whole thing? Because did we ever realize that when we got Ruben that he would be as popular as he is or this whole this whole thing would take place? And no, he did not, is, uh, is my emphatic answer. Uh, I had no idea that this guy would be uh, what he has turned out to be. The um, way things started out was that we had some videos that we posted early on on YouTube that just so that the friends and family could see. And almost done, baby. Hang on, hang on. And then uh, rumble.com uh, is a, a website where they contacted us and said, right, buddy? They contacted us and said, hey, can we license some of your videos? And um, oh, I know, let's go like this. How about this? We'll change for a second. All right. Have a seat. Sit down. Sit, sit, sit. Sit, sit, sit. There we go. Can we license some of your videos and uh, and, and show them across their platforms like uh, uh, yahoo.com and things like that? And so we did that. And um, that's how uh, it started, more people watching his channel. And so they kind of got us to start. And if you see any Rumble videos out there with him, uh, they're, they're totally legit. They're told that they didn't uh, steal it. Uh, but they did help kind of get his channel going because then more people saw those and then came to his YouTube channel and saw him there. So uh, that was kind of how we started out with him. And um, let's see, lastly, um, I think that's it for now. So just a bunch of random little things here and there. And I'll leave you with this. Um, again, very thankful for everyone who's sending us uh, uh, cards and gifts and all that good stuff. It's wonderful. We've got such a good audience. And uh, so here's a clip of uh, uh, Tim and Kiko. You had sent a shirt for Ruben. And he doesn't have a lot of clothing, so, but we, we had to try this out and see how it fit him. And uh, I hope you enjoy. So thanks, guys. Take care. You know, Ruben, some clothing is designed to be, you know, make you look a little slimmer. You know, when it's the form fitting and things like that. However, uh, some kind folks sent in a little uh, shirt for you. And uh, it's form fitting all right, but I'm not sure how slimming it is. It kind of makes you, it's, it's kind of like a tube of sausage. Uh, <laughs> So uh, I'm going to call you uh, Reuben the uh, the bratwurst. Is that? Uh, I'm not sure what that. Maybe liverwurst. Either way. The blue bullet. The blue bullet. There we go. <laughs> He's got his shirt on. It's a it's 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 a clo it's a close fit for him, but uh, but it seems to work. It's kind of like a thunder shirt almost. He's been calm since we put it on because I'm not sure he knows what exactly is going on. <laughs> but Reuben. You're very appreciative for everybody who sends you stuff, right? That's right. <laughs> it's a good thing it's cool today, so you can still wear it, right? Eh. Or not. Thanks to everyone for watching, and don't forget to hit the red subscribe button to be alerted the next time a Ruben video comes out. Take care.